What's going on guys? Joey Franzo with Flex Training Systems here and today I wanted to uh, address a topic, um, kind of two, a two-part topic here um, that came about when a client asked me, hey Joey, um, I'm just curious, why am I not doing, you know, uh, sets of eight or 10 like I see a lot of the guys doing in the group? Um, granted, this client uh, is kind of, um, he always wants more, more, more. He always wants to do more volume. He wants harder training, um, which is great. That's a great mentality to have. Uh, but the main reason why his training is different than other clients in the group, other uh, people in general, is because everybody, um, you know, is going to be in a different uh, phase in their training. Um, you know, you talk about, people talk about yearly planning. Um, most of my guys, we focus on uh, raw nationals. And that's, you know, in October. Um, so afterwards, we like to get into some higher rep ranges and kind of get away from, uh, as you know, all the, the very bland and, uh, you know, specificity that we deal with, all the heavy weights and whatnot. Um, so, you know, I have some guys doing uh, higher rep stuff, some guys do lower rep stuff. Um, so everybody's going to be, you know, in a different phase of their training. Um, also, just because, you know, somebody can tolerate high, high, you know, volume thresholds uh, doesn't mean that you're going to be able to, nor do you even need to do that much. Um, there's this whole, you know, like everybody talks about volume, 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 and yes, volume is very important. Um, but you have to understand that everyone's, what everybody needs is going to be different. And it's going to vary from person to person. Uh, there are actually quite a few times where you can have, you know, lifters in a similar kind of recovery ability and body type and, and they can run similar programs. Um, but you know, maybe the taper is different. Maybe, uh, maybe with the way you load up, uh, load them up on volume is going to be a little bit different. Um, I know that for myself personally right now, my training is very, very different from anything that, you know, I have any of my guys doing, but I'm a different person. I've been lifting longer than most of them. Um, and my, my needs are certainly not nearly as much as, as, uh, uh many others, uh, that I work with, um, which is kind of odd because over time you figure you need to do more. Um, you know, I went from competition squatting three times a week, tons and tons of volume to now only doing once a week, uh, and, and with two other variations throughout the week. Um, but yeah, you know, everyone, everyone's going to be going through a different uh, phase in their training. And, you know, just because something seems fun or exciting at the moment doesn't mean that you should scrap what you're doing and just jump onto whatever it is that is hot at the time. Uh, a lesson to take away from this also is to commit commit to your plan uh, whether it's a good plan or an okay plan the fact that you even have a plan and um, you're committing to it uh, that is probably going to yield better results than to just you know jumping around uh, from program to program um, that being said you know I could have easily said oh well it huh, looks like he Looks like he wants to do more volume and higher rep stuff. Let's just scrap his current plan and get him on, get him on this plan or get him on that plan. That isn't really a smart way to go about things. Um, you know, when I originally wrote his training, I, I had a plan and I had a, an, an idea in mind and something to work towards, and that's what we're going to stick to and commit to. Um, and as any you know coach should do is, uh, you know, they go into each block. Every time they write training, there is some sort of goal or objective uh, to be achieved by the end of it, whether that be four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, you know, maybe you're testing every 10 weeks, whatever. Um, you have to commit to that plan, see it through, then, you know, take a step back, look at the situation objectively, and then evaluate from there. Did I improve? Did I not improve? Why didn't I improve? Was there some crazy variable that inhibited my progress? Um, but yeah. I hope you guys were able to take something uh, away from the video today. Um, so, you know, the, the, if you just wanted to sum it up real quick, uh, two main points. Uh, number one, everyone's always going to be uh, on their own kind of timeline and you cannot um, simply jump off your timeline onto their timeline too. 
uh, whatever your plan is, just stick to the plan, you know, or see it through to the end and then take a look at, the, you know, take a look at everything objectively, reevaluate, uh, make adjustments and move on to the next one. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I drop a like if you did gain something from the video. Leave a comment down below if there's some sort of topic you want me to cover. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in the next video.